Greetings, and welcome to Sonic Sunday School. I'm Mike, and today we're going to be talking about arpeggios. I uh, played guitar for a long time before I figured out how to play an arpeggio. This was before the internet and YouTube, so there was really no way to ever see somebody play one, except for live, and they usually went by so fast you really couldn't tell what they were doing. So I decided to put this uh, little video together to show some easy ways to look at arpeggio shapes. There's plenty of videos out there showing how to sweep and things like that. I'll go over that, but this is really just to show you some easy ways to look at arpeggios. And um, we're going to use basically the open chords like uh, G, C, E, and um, we're going to translate those to arpeggios. Those are the three chords um, placed, played as arpeggios. Um, if you've ever looked into arpeggios at all, you know that it's not strummed. You don't strum the chords. You, you kind of rake across the strings. You need to play each note individually and not let it ring into the next. Um, you do a lot of your muting with your fretting hand and you try to mute any of the unused strings with your picking hand. So if you're playing... That would be an E uh, major arpeggio with an added third for the turnaround. Um, if I sweep it... I'm not actually strumming. I'm playing each note individually. Or if I wanted to do the G, it would be, which is, you know, just your standard G note or G chord, all the notes in that, something you're already familiar with. Um, you can also do that with the C. I've added the fifth on the high for the hammer on. So those are three different shapes you can use. Um, you also don't necessarily have to use the entire shape. Just like if you were playing an F or you played the F like this, or just played, you can do the same thing with your arpeggios. Um, I hope that gives you some ideas of some shapes that you can use for arpeggios. You can use them all over. I just use this as an example because that's where the uh, open chord would translate for an octave, but... Um, or incorporating it into your playing is uh, something that we'll go over later. But, uh, yeah, all these shapes are movable. So, uh, practice. You already know the uh, notes from playing your open chords. So, you can... Uh, Practice those, get them under your uh, fingers, so to say, and uh, practice not strumming, but raking across the strings. And if you're playing just part of the arpeggio, I am actually muting the rest of the strings with my picking hand. 
but the notes that I'm playing are actually being muted by my fretting hand. So I hope this gives you something to think about. Um, if you have any questions, comment below. And uh, as always, keep playing and have fun with it. All right, thanks.